Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Vinal TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing and we appreciate it. Thank you very much. What we have here is HP Lesser Jet Multifunctional Printer M140WE. This printer is one of the world's smallest lesser printer out there. It's dual band, you can connect it via Wi-Fi network and USB cable connection. Right now, this printer is connected via Wi-Fi network. But I want to show you how to connect it with USB cable. USB cable is, in, is not included in the packaging. I'm going to turn this printer around, give you an overview of this printer, then try to connect this printer with USB cable. At the back here, this is the power cable, three pin power cable. Two power cables is included in the packaging. One is two pin and this one is three pin is included. And the USB cable goes right here. This is where it goes. And this section will go to the PC, which I'm going to show you. This is the scanner flatbed scanner you load particular document you want to copy or scan on top of the scanner select the function this is LCD screen this is the paper tray we loaded A4 paper right here it's what we loaded check my video see how we loaded various sizes of paper what is in here right now is A4 paper this printer is using 142A toner 142A ink toner. Check my video how we loaded the toner as well. And just need to go back in. Here a click sound. This printer I can print 20 pages per minute. Okay. 20 print per minute on A4 paper. Now what I want us to show you is also from right here. You can see this is the Wi-Fi button. This LCD screen, this is on and off button for this printer. This is for you to cancel. This is the Wi-Fi. What I want us to do is switch. You can see a steady blue light means that this printer is connected to Wi-Fi network. What I want us to do is try to connect this printer to the PC right here with USB cable. So I'm going to switch it off. Okay, you can see the Wi-Fi is no longer on. Okay, it's gone off. Now, what I want us to do is try to connect this printer with USB cable connection. And for us to do that, to connect this printer to USB cable connection, at the back here, this is the USB cable, what it looks like. We have this Advenetex tool. So, connect it at the back, okay, and this section, the back of the PC, you hear a click sound, you can see, we had a click sound there, now the next thing for us to do is for us to go back to the PC and look for this printer, so right now we need to look for this printer, once you connect the USB cable. The other thing you can do is um, go to your settings, download HP Smart App, your PC. So right now, look for HP Smart App. Go to the apps, this printer, apps and features. Okay, scroll down and look for HP Smart App. Here we go. This is the HP Smart App. Okay, so HP Smart App. You need to download HP Smart App on your PC. And this is actually what we need to do right now. I'm going to look for the HP Smart App. Okay. 
okay here is hp smart app click it open okay so this is hp smart app so we'll find hp smart app we just need to work, wait for this to be ready So just give it some exercise some patience for the app to be ready then once the app is ready then we need, we need to look for this printer So at the moment we're just waiting for the app to be ready here we go so this is the hp smart app now we need to look for this printer okay go to see printer status click plus by the side and once you click plus you will see the printer here is this printer right now hp let's suggest mfp1 m135 139 slash 142 can see it's on and also show you that it's USB cable okay so right now this is the printer okay this is also online remote okay you can also this is with USB cable so right now what we need to do is just select USB cable Because it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network, we'll also show you that the printer is is online. Right now, what it's doing right now is getting ready. HP Lesser Jet MFP M139148. Okay, so right now this printer is there. Okay, so with this, you can see printer setting, scan shortcut printable this is the scan now for you to scan your document so right now this printer is on for you to scan your document stick the document you want to scan then the next thing you need to do is glass scanner select the document type okay change it from document to change it from photo to document okay and area surface you can see this is dpi so if you're scanning your document with printer, you have more option. But when you are scanning it, scanning it with mobile device, the resolution is maximum resolution is 200, 300 DPI. With with PC, you have more option of 600 DPI. So right now we leave it to 300 DPI. Select scan. And right now this document right now is scanning and see right now this is how to connect this printer with usb cable and right now is scanning this document right now i just need to wait here we go this is the document will scan this is the first one if you want to scan the second one turn it upside down okay what we're doing right now is connection with usb cable connection now the next thing to do is for us to scan the second one click add on your pc just by the right side here click add once you click add 
it gives you an option for you to do the same thing document type scan area color and select scan you can also select preview it's going ahead and scanning very quick and beautiful we're just gonna we are waiting for this to be ready it's ready okay now this document right now i can see the first one this is the second one okay now the other thing i want to show you if you want to share this document or save it if you want to share this document then you click share button now also show you also show you basic pdf document type pdf and click share okay comparison none click share once you click share then it give you the option to share the item with okay can see email share email now this document right now is in my inbox i want to send this back to my inbox okay so i'm going to type back the email my email address the other thing you can do you just need to type the email address of the person you want to send this to so I'm sending this document back to my inbox. And once you're done, the next thing you need to do is click, make sure you put the information correct. And click send. Once you type the e email address of the person, then type the subject and click send. Right now, this document is sending. The doc this document is right now sent, okay, to my inbox. If you want to print it out or save, you can click save. Click save. The same thing applicable. Click save again. It will take you to the file. You can see it. Then you select where you want to save this document to. Right now, you can decide where you want to save this document. You can save it on document or scroll up or save it to the download. Or to picture anywhere or even documents right now is on documents okay can write it write it doc to there okay and the next thing you need to do so right now this is how to what we're trying to do is to say save, save this document okay click save file has been saved click OK Okay, so what we have done right now, we send this document to my inbox and also save it. I want us, us to, to print this document out. Select print. Select print. Okay, and once you select print, before we go ahead, this is the document. It just arrived. This is the document I sent to my inbox. It just landed. So click it open. This is the document inside my inbox. Okay, it just arrived right now inside my inbox. Okay, now... We'll go back to the app, okay? Once you are in here, this is for us to print it out, but we need to make sure we look for this printer. This printer is HP, so we need to change it. What we have here is check, go scroll down and look for HP. This serial number for this printer is HP. Let's search it MFE M139 slash M142. Select on it. right now it's connecting here we go it's connected now the other thing you can do orientation is portrait or, la or landscape document type a4 paper fill to page number layout one photo per page okay now also um scaling scrub full page if you scroll down you select the particular page you want but it's full page okay the next thing you need to do is click print here we go the document is, is coming out from here two documents the first one is where here we go very quick this is the first one this is the first one document we scan the second one is getting ready here we go the two documents 
and this is the original one okay so this is how to scan your documents with this printer we connected this printer with usb cable here is the usb cable connection okay thank you very much guys if you're happy with this tutorial the other thing i want to show also we can go back to my inbox like i mentioned earlier this is the document you can also print this from your inbox by selecting go to the side and selecting the printer and also change the printer to the one you have so we go we scroll down and look for this printer okay and here we go it's showing us ready now from here okay from here you can also see more setting landscape select how many pages all the page you want more okay scroll down a4 paper fit to one page show you all the features then select print and this is from my inbox from my email address i'm sending this it will go from here back to the printer here we go so you can print it from the app and also when you send it inside inside your inbox you can also go back inside your inbox select a particular printer and print this out sometimes people say that will say i can't find the printer but you need to make sure you select the particular printer so right now we printed this out from my inbox the first one we printed out we printed it out from the app hp smart app if you're happy with this tutorial i would appreciate if you can subscribe share and smash the like button this is how to connect this printer to what with usb cable scan your document print and share thank you